For many years, people have gazed at the stars and wondered about living on another planet. Now, NASA and SpaceX want to turn that dream into reality. They're aiming to build a colony on Mars, but it won't be easy. In this video, we'll look at the difficulties of making Mars a new home and how NASA and SpaceX are figuring out ways to tackle these challenges. Stay tuned for an exploration of this exciting space journey. Welcome to Superstructures! Colonizing Mars comes with its set of challenges. One major hurdle is the transportation of the massive amount of supplies and equipment needed for a successful mission. Unlike missions to the moon, where payloads are smaller, sending a crew of 10 people on a two-year journey to Mars requires an unprecedented amount of mass, especially considering the vast distance of 150 million miles. Even powerful rockets like NASA's Saturn V and the Space Launch System fall short for this ambitious task. Mars colonization isn't just a lofty dream. It's crucial for the survival and progress of humanity. With Earth having a limited lifespan, becoming a multi-planetary species provides a safeguard against potential catastrophic events. Colonizing Mars presents an unparalleled opportunity for humanity to secure its future and reach new heights in exploration. SpaceX, under Elon Musk's vision, is ambitiously working towards enabling human exploration of Mars primarily through its super-heavy rocket, Starship. This innovative spacecraft is designed to tackle the challenges of deep space travel, offering double the thrust of NASA's Saturn V. The Raptor engine upgrades aim to enhance Mars' payload capacity by delivering 100 metric tons, recognizing that sheer power is not enough. SpaceX is exploring nuclear thermal propulsion to improve transit times and boost Mars' colonization prospects. This technology, extensively studied by NASA, promises three to five times greater efficiency than chemical engines, facilitating faster travel, increased payloads, and improved maneuverability. NASA's Project Draco, targeting the deployment of a nuclear spacecraft in the next five years, aligns with SpaceX's goals. While the private sector may encounter regulatory hurdles in obtaining nuclear fuel, a collaboration with NASA, given its expertise, emerges as a strategic and imminent partnership for SpaceX. The collaboration between SpaceX and NASA stands as a pivotal alliance crucial for the sustainable success of human spaceflight to Mars. SpaceX, leading in rocket technology and private space exploration, synergizes with NASA's extensive experience, logistical expertise, and rich research data. NASA's proficiency in Mars landing and executing extended missions is vital for the success of colonization efforts. Additionally, additionally, NASA's logistical capabilities and research into human habitation in space provide invaluable insights into constructing and managing a Martian colony. Essential aspects like project management, crew selection, and understanding the challenges of isolation and the environment are integral to a prosperous colonization mission. The collaborative efforts between SpaceX and NASA ensure a comprehensive approach, combining the strengths of both entities. Beyond propulsion, nuclear power emerges as a cornerstone in fostering the triumph of Mars colonization. NASA's Kilopower project is dedicated to creating small modular nuclear reactors for space power generation. These reactors promise abundant and reliable energy from Mars's inception, eliminating dependence on solar power until extensive solar farms are established. NASA's plan to test a 10-kilowatt reactor on the Moon underscores its commitment to deploying similar systems on Mars. Moreover, the daunting task of colonizing Mars requires meticulous planning and efficient project management. While Elon Musk's vision guides the venture, the logistical challenges of erecting a Martian city are formidable. Collaborating with NASA ensures access to their expertise in managing space missions, from landing operations to sustained human habitation. NASA's extensive experience in simulating Mars habitats and conducting in-depth research on the Red Planet establishes the foundation for a triumphant colonization. NASA's comprehensive research not only enriches humanity's understanding of Mars, but also provides crucial insights for mission design, site selection, and crew safety. Decades of scrutinizing Mars from the ground provide indispensable knowledge for preparing astronauts for the challenges of long-duration space travel. The integration of a nuclear component into the SpaceX Starship poses a formidable engineering challenge. The possibility of outfitting Starship with nuclear thermal engines raises questions, suggesting a potential solution where NASA develops a separate nuclear propulsion stage, launching it into low Earth orbit and having Starship dock with it before journeying to Mars. 
Despite these engineering hurdles, a joint SpaceX-NASA mission to Mars presents inherent advantages, capitalizing on SpaceX's innovative thinking and cost-cutting, complemented by NASA's governmental resources and institutional experience. This collaborative SpaceX-NASA mission to Mars is poised to materialize possibly in the early to mid-2030s. Key components include nuclear thermal propulsion and the technology for sustainable astronaut habitation on Mars. A decade should be enough for the development of these crucial technologies, marking the onset of the inaugural human interplanetary expedition. This Mars initiative can coincide with other space priorities like moon exploration and the establishment of commercial space stations to succeed the ISS, necessitating ample resources from NASA and its global and commercial partners. For the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog Experiment, over 4,000 individuals applied, but only four were chosen to assess the effects of extended space travel, led by Commander Kelly Haston. The team comprises Flight Engineer Ross Brockwell, Medical Officer Nathan Jones, and Science Officer Anne Casalaryu. Now, you might be wondering if living on Mars is a good idea, especially when it comes to the issue of reproduction and feeding. There's an honest answer to that question. The truth is, the possibility of human reproduction in space remains uncertain, whether during spaceflight or on another celestial body. While the physics of sexual activity in lower gravity is straightforward, the impact of space environments on the intricate biological processes required for human growth raises numerous unanswered questions. Earth's evolutionary processes are finely tuned to function in a gravity-dominated environment, whereas space lacks significant gravity, and Mars has only about 38% of Earth's gravitational strength. The interplay of reduced gravity and increased radiation possess significant challenges to mammalian reproduction in space. Earth's magnetic field shields against energetic cosmic particles, but in space, radiation levels are higher and potentially more harmful. This is a particular concern for fetal development, given the increased sensitivity of embryos to radiation. Gravity and radiation remain the primary concerns for scientists exploring reproduction in space. Ethical considerations surrounding human studies have led researchers to conduct experiments with various animals in space. Early Soviet experiments in the late 1970s involved rats in orbit, showing evidence of mating but no successful deliveries. NASA later sent pregnant rats into space, revealing potential impacts on later pregnancy stages and abnormal development in rat pups' vestibular systems. While spaceflight seems to affect rat sperm counts and increase abnormalities, researchers acknowledge that aspects of pregnancy, birth, and early mammalian development may proceed under altered gravity conditions. However, when mice were sent there, the result was something entirely different. Research indicates distinct reactions between rodent species, as exemplified by two-cell mouse embryos on the space shuttle Columbia, which failed to progress in space compared to Earth controls. Simulated microgravity experiments reveal that while in vitro fertilization proceeded normally, embryos cultured in microgravity struggled to implant and develop when transferred to female mice. A recent Japanese-led study demonstrated that freeze-dried mass sperm successfully produced embryos after nine months in space. Other experiments showcase the reproductive success of crickets, nematodes, fruit flies, and Japanese medaka fish aboard the space shuttle Columbia. Salamander eggs fertilized on the Russian space station Mir produced embryos with alterations, while sea urchin experiments suggested possible fertilization in space with notable effects on sperm movement. In contrast, quail eggs in an incubator failed to develop normally. These diverse findings paint a complex picture of how space flight influences reproduction. For mammals particularly, the outlook is challenging due to the interplay between mother and fetus during embryonic development. Scientists caution that before investing significantly in capabilities for multi-generational mammalian reproduction and partial gravity, it's crucial to explore the challenges, as gravitational forces might disrupt life cycle processes and shape inheritable genomes in ways different from Earth. When it comes to feeding, creating a viable food system on Mars hinges on utilizing water extracted from the soil, a resource identified by rovers to exist in significant amounts as frozen water in the crust. The key component in extraterrestrial agriculture is cyanobacteria, commonly known as blue-green algae. While cyanobacteria pose challenges on Earth, 
causing issues like huge traffic and polluted waterways, on Mars, it takes on a crucial role. Thriving on the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and adapting to the sandy, inorganic, and toxic regolith covering bedrock, cyanobacteria become the cornerstones for generating essential organic molecules, forming the basis of the entire Martian food ecosystem. Beyond its role in organic synthesis, cyanobacteria serve a dual purpose by neutralizing toxic perchlorates pervasive in the Martian regolith, ensuring a safer environment for potential human colonization. Imagine a Martian city adorned with lush greenery, hydroponics, and soil-bound crops flourishing in tunnels, domed craters, and every available corner. However, achieving this mission requires the collaboration of aerospace experts. SpaceX's Starship, coupled with NASA's nuclear thermal propulsion, lays the groundwork for a sustainable human presence on Mars. As we embark on this ambitious mission, are you ready to contribute your ideas to propel humanity beyond Earth? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up for more exciting content. Subscribe to Superstructures for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.